try and schedule tours around school breaks. You know, like at Christmas one year, I did a bunch of shows in Florida. My wife and kids came down. My wife's family also came down because they didn't want us to have a good time. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love my wife's family. Did that sound believable? <laughs> I do love them. They're, they're my in-laws. That's a strange term, in-law. It's like, are you related? Uh, legally. <laughs> in a court of law. In law, it's like the opposite of being in love. We're in law. We law each other. Very much. In laws are like family or a sign. It's like, you want to spend your life with that person? You got to take those 10 people. <laughs> All of them? My only issue with my in-laws is there's too many of them. My wife is one of nine children. So every holiday, all nine of the siblings and their individual families all get together and spend every moment together. <laughs> Over Christmas, I went to a movie with 30 people. <laughs> I didn't even know that was legal. <laughs> we were walking around, people thought we were from a church. <laughs> to put it in perspective, Jesus only walked around with 12. <laughs> I learned very quickly, I don't want to do anything with 30 people. If I was on the Titanic and the last rescue boat was filled with 30 people, I'd be like, you guys, go ahead. I don't want to be there when you try and decide where to eat lunch. Often it was more than 30 people, because sometimes those 30 people will invite other people. So you'll have conversations and someone will be like, I'm your wife's uncle's best friend. I'm like, oh, there's a term for that, stranger. You're a total stranger.